how do you deal with the fact that you're so unelectable? So? So unelectable. Question about electability. Do you have any, sir? There's always the question as to whether or not... <laughs> Ron Paul cannot get elected. That's the one thing Donald Trump has ever been right about, is that he's unelectable. Ron Paul is invisible, <laughs> you know? Hit the mute button whenever Ron Paul talks. The man's an ignoramus. Why does this 70-ish weird guy yeah. have all this support? Well, there's a percentage of this country that's crazy. Ron Paul is the worst. He loses to Obama by almost 20 points. I think that might be more propaganda than anything else. A topic, and if you can give me a one-word response, I'm sure you talk to Republicans who are worried as well, just like I am, uh, that Ron Paul will continue on, who are worried as well, just like I am. We have a new top tier, and it's Perry, Mitt Romney, and Bachman. There's now a top tier in this race, at least for now, of Romney, Perry, and Bachman. I, mean, I think that's fair to say. Really fair to say? You're not forgetting, I don't know, anyone? This pretending Ron Paul doesn't exist for some reason has been going on for weeks. A new Gallup survey showing Rick Perry running second to Mitt Romney, knocking down Iowa favorite Michelle Bachman to fourth. If you get video of Sarah Palin or get a soundbite from her, bring that back to us. You can hold the Ron Paul stuff. <laughs> for a whole lot of people in the mainstream media, Ron Paul continues to be ignored. It's unelectable and that a vote for Ron Paul is a wasted vote. Ron Paul has zero chance of getting the nomination. Okay. okay. There are some pretty racy and racist things if you read some of these letters. One of the reasons why you're losing support in these winning days <laughs> is, because, <laughs> is because TV anchors ignore him. Ron Paul's name was mentioned just 4,695 times on TV news and cable shows. John McCain was mentioned 95,005. What, what are they afraid of? No. Why can't they recognize what Ron Paul's doing? We're getting a number of emails and tweets from viewers about it, like this one from Renee DeVries. She writes, Land of the no longer free is your Ron Paul coverage Soviet propaganda? P.S. He won most internet polls. Almost out of time. Has, has the national news media been fair to you? Well, a lot of other people say they have not been. We overthrew their government through the CIA in 1953. We, we were allies with Saddam Hussein in the 1980s, and we encouraged him to invade All right, so I just uh, want to get to Ron. I don't, we don't need a history lesson. The Ron Paul people are the biggest a-holes of them all. That some of his positions are insane. That you can't be an isolated nation the way he wants to be. That bad guys will come and get us if, unless we get them first. Right. We all know this. You know, saying that in, in 1993 the Israelis were responsible for the bombing of the World Trade Center, that kind of yeah. stuff. So, all right. Goodbye. All right. All right. Thank you, Congressman. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. your right, answer. Sir. I appreciate your answering the questions. And you understand it's our job to Thank ask them. Thank you. Israel should take care of themselves. Israel has 200, 300 nuclear missiles and they can take care of themselves. Why should we commit? We don't even have a treaty with Israel. Why, why do we have this automatic commitment that we're going to send our kids and send our money endlessly uh, to, to Israel? They're picking wars with other countries. Someone like Iran. Yeah, Israel is more than capable. Of all right, we just lost our tech connection, unfortunately. Maybe we ought to consider a golden rule in, uh, in foreign policy. Don't do to other nations what we don't want to have them do to us. So we, we, endlessly bomb, we endlessly bomb these countries and then we wonder, wonder why they get upset with us. And Fox, I think, is uh, tied pretty close to, to some of the national policy issues. And but you're, take, a, you're a Republican. Yeah, but, uh, but they don't, they're not. <laughs> that, that's the problem. The bigger scandal, but the Fed is a thief and a taxer because I dilute the value of the money. And the Fed. There should be no Federal Reserve System.